Hey guys, it's me, your girl Portia, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, say thank you and hello to all my new subscribers. Also, today's video is gonna be a little different. I'm gonna do like a story time, but I will make this a series if you guys enjoy it. I actually make it a series, but I don't know if you're gonna enjoy it or not because I have a lot of story times about this particular place that I used to work, okay? And like, I mean, like at this place, it stayed, like, it stayed going down at this place, okay? Yeah, so if you wanna hear these story times about the place that I used to work at, um, subscribe to my channel, you know, and um, you'll get an update whenever I upload one of these videos. I don't even know if I wanna say the place's name or not, I don't think I ever, I pray to God I never have to go back to this place and work. It's a very, very well-known store. It's not a department store. It's an industry. <laughs> but anyway, so one of the story times that I wanted to tell you guys that was like so hilarious to me and it was like crazy and I can't believe that it happened. Um, one night I was at work and I actually worked in the fragrance department at this point in time and the fragrance department was right about by the entrance that um leads into the mall so i'm at work it's a slow night it's only me there this night like it's just me and it was crazy because my manager actually gave me the dumbest job to do this late and it was like around the holidays days we normally have like a lot of gift sets and stuff like that that comes in so right at the end of the counter we had like four bays two bays were for women's and then you had two bays behind it that were for men colognes so the two bays that were in the very front were for women and at the end of one of those bays it was Dolce & Gabbana light blue um, perfume we had some gift sets sitting right at the front and right at the front it means it's basically right by the entrance of the store i noticed this two girl it was two girls and a guy and they come by they're talking all loud and ratchet they basically brought attention to themselves because they were all loud and ratchet but the job that my manager gave me to do was the signs inside of the glass cases so like let's just say it was polo so if it was polo I would basically take the polo signs that said polo, like the big signs, and I would stick it in front of the glass case and then I would line the cologne up behind the case. You know, just make it look organized. You know, you gotta have the top and the bottom basically looking the same. That's what I was doing. But what was crazy is, like I said, it was around the holidays. It was just me at work. It was a slow night. But thieves decided to come by this night that it was just me. And because I was down sitting on a stool down inside of the bays putting the signs inside of the bays you could not see me if you came to my area and needed help if i didn't like look up above the counter you know to see if anybody was around you could not see me so that's basically what happened they thought there was nobody in my area so they came through and when they came through like i said they were really really loud that's what drew attention to them it was the fact that they were yeah, 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 yeah just running their mouth so they come through when they come through they pass me they don't see me when they come through so they get all the way up they're coming through our store headed towards the exit that leads out into the mall and like i said on this first bay on the left there is dos Gabbana gift sets on the front so i see them and i see it was one girl she had burgundy hair and she had the loudest mouth mouth of them all and that's what caught my attention so she grabs like two of the gift sets and I see her grab two of the gift sets so I literally get up and I walk up to her and I'm like ma'am do you need some help with something you know not asking her thinking that she was gonna steal them or anything like that but I was asking her because if you grab into the gift sets as if you want them I want to ring them up because at this store we work off sales so we basically keep you know our um jobs based off our sales so i walked up to her and i was like um you know do you need help with something can i help you um and she was like oh and she perceives like let's say let's say that this is the gift set when she sees me she's like oh no i don't need help with anything and she puts it back so i'm like you know okay so 
I go back and I get back down and I start back doing what I was doing. So when I did that, I noticed like all of them kept looking at me, you know, and they were talking to each other, but I couldn't hear what they were saying, you know. So they left. When they left, I went over to one of my coworkers. She worked in lingerie, which was right like in front. It was facing the fragrance area. So, you know, I went to her and I was like, I think that they were gonna take those kisses. So my coworker was like, okay, I said, well, just let me know if you see them coming back again because I'm gonna finish what I'm doing down here because I gotta have it finished by tomorrow for my manager. Literally, I get back down. I'm probably down another three minutes on the floor doing what I'm doing. Y'all, when I get back down, all of a sudden, all I hear is someone really loudly, loudly say, and this is what I screwed up, okay? What I screwed up is, when they did that, I should have went ahead and called security, but I didn't. I didn't call them. I was like, they gone. They wouldn't be stupid enough to come back. They already see that I pretty much was kind of like on to what they was doing. They would not, like, come back. To the same store that's what i was thinking so i screwed up and i messed up myself so they come back like three minutes later and i hear the loud mouth girl telling them i, I hear her saying where's she at where's she at like looking where's she at y'all see him y'all see him the girl that's with her is like scared so she like hyping her up saying don't be scared she ain't gonna do that she ain't gonna do that just loud y'all and i said these people were so loud that's like I literally would have not saw them if they would have just picked up what they wanted and quietly walked back through I would not have seen them but because she was like where she at where she at she ain't gonna do that she ain't gonna do that but because she was saying that that's what made me notice them again that's what made me notice them in the first place if they wouldn't have been so loud I wouldn't even notice you in the first place these people literally grab a handful of our gift sets and take off when they see me, by this time when I see them grab a handful of the gift sets, I stand up and I go towards them. They take off into the mall. They stole about three of my gift sets. So after that, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they came back. And then on top of that, you drew attention to yourself by being loud and ratchet and ghetto. So with that being said, I was like, okay i went ahead and i called security at this point in time but it's it's too late because they're gone i guess they took one of the mall entrances and went around you know how they have like the little doors and you can go down the hallway and you can get to your car so i'm guessing they must have took one of the mall entrances and left because they didn't come back through our store once they noticed i got up and i knew that they took the gift sets but when they took the gift sets like they did it really the next day after this happens, I just so happen to open. A lady comes in, y'all, and she was a, uh, a Caucasian lady. She came in, and this lady was black and blue from the head all the way down to the chest. So she comes to me, and she was like, man, I'm so desperate. She was like, can you please tried to cover both her eyes was black when i say this little this lady literally was black and blue from her head to her chest that's that's all i can say to explain it like eyes black everything so i'm like oh my gosh like are you okay like did someone um you know are you dating someone that's abusive like what's wrong she was like, no, her and her, she said her best friend, so one day was her best friend, her daughter and her stole money from her and she confronted them and they jumped her. And I was like, oh my God, you know. But I actually think some more was to it because honestly the lady looks kind of sketch. She looked like she could have been on something. Um, so it could have been more to it than what she was telling me, but of course she's not gonna tell me everything. You know, she starts to cry and all that so okay so i take her to the dharma blend counter which is right beside the mall entrance i take her right you know it's, it's like to the side in a little corner so i take her to it and we, i sit her down in the chair and that's what i use to cover the spots on her face and plus dharma blend has the stuff that you can like put on your body the body cover makeup so like i cover her literally from my face down all the way to her chest like her neck everything was blue and black y'all not lying I cannot make this up. I uh, basically was working on her and something catches my eye. 
But what catches my eye was the girl had burgundy hair when she came in. And I literally, I'm looking at her. She comes through. Literally how the girl comes into the store. So that catches my eye because I'm like, why is this girl creeping in like the Grinch who stole Christmas? Like that's literally how she was creeping in. I can't, can't make this up. So I'm looking at her and I'm like, that's the girl from last night. Right behind her is the guy and the other girl that was with her. So, I walk over to Lancome because I'm still busy doing the ladies' face. It's kind of busy because, like I said, it's the holidays. So, it's kind of busy in there. Um, All the other consultants were busy working with somebody. So, I go over to one of the ladies that work at Lancome because she was not doing anything. She didn't have any customers. And I look at her and I say... Do you mind watching these three people that came in last night and they stole some gift sets? I said, and now they're back. She says, okay. So I leave and I go to call security. When I leave to go call security. She comes over and she starts assisting them. Y'all, as soon as like she walked over, they were going to grab, they already had a Michael Kors men's gift set in their hands. And they had it and they were about to take it. And then the other ones were going to some stuff that they wanted, like grabbing what they wanted or whatever. So she walked up to them and, you know, I'm listening to her go up to them and she's like, hey, can I help you with something? You know, and she kind of got like a type of attitude because I don't told her what they need. So she kind of like, can I help you with something? So they were like, oh, I just want to smell this. And she was like, oh, well, here's a tester. So she takes the gifts out their hands, like spray a card, give them the card. And was like, here, you can smell it like that. So, the guy's like, oh, okay. Security makes it over. When security makes it over, they jet. When I say jet, I mean the girl with the burgundy hair was like Speedy Gonzalez, honey. She was gone. Dash from the Incredibles. Like, she was gone, okay? When I tell you she ran off and left her friends and all, inside the store that I worked at, we actually had police officers that actually worked inside the store. So, it's not like I had to call, like, mall security or anything like that. Like, we had actual police officers that would put you in handcuffs right in and there. They had their gun on their side and, you know, they would take action. So, he runs after her out into the mall. She leaves her friends. Like, she just completely runs off and leaves them. She goes out of one of the mall entrances and, um... He loses sight of them. So after that, he comes back in and he starts telling me, he's like, Portia, that girl, I just arrested her not too long ago. She's banned from this store. She's not even supposed to be at this store. She also got banned from Dollar General for stealing. She just got out of jail and I can't believe she back here stealing already. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, and she nasty too. Like, she's so nasty to the point where if you say something to her, she'll spit in your face. And I was like, what? And what, like, makes me say, oh my gosh, like, I'm glad I didn't say anything to her is because I told my manager that they stole three of the gift sets. And um, my manager was like, well, next time you see them, tell them that they have to leave. Tell them they can't be in the store. And I was like, no. But the reason why I said no was because normally, like, I don't have a problem with saying anything to anybody. But, y'all, these people look so ratchet and so, like, I'm sorry to say it, but they look disgusting. Like, this girl's face literally looked like a crunch bar. Um... Just real, like, ill. So, I was like, no, I'm not saying anything to her. And my reasons why I didn't want to say anything to her, because I'm like, I don't want to touch me. Like, no. Mm-mm. I'm sorry, I can't say nothing to her. And I'm glad I didn't, because I didn't know that, you know, she gets so rowdy to the point where she'll spit on you. But I knew she was very bold to say, like, she ain't gonna do nothing. She ain't gonna do nothing. You know, when they was taking the gift sets. Like, she was very bold to say that much. So, I knew then. I'm like, yeah, she could get aggressive. Like, I ain't got time for these. Mm-mm. It looked like if she touched me, I'm just gonna passed away like no i can't so um yeah after that the girl never came back to the store i'm guessing because the our security actually got after her i'm guessing that, that scared her away from the store so she left and i didn't see her ever again mm -hmm. when i was working for this company thumbs up this video if you like it and thumbs up this video if you want to hear more of my crazy story times because i have some crazy story times y'all <laughs> about this company like when i tell you like me getting into it with people about to fight people like my co-workers and all like, i have some juicy stories about this particular company okay
in the next one bye so you say you wanna get away we don't need a plane could be yours